G'day everyone, my name's Gaz. And I'm Lisa. And I didn't even need to start again. Go. <laughs> G'day everyone, my name's Gaz. And I'm Lisa. And this is episode one of Hitching Up. We have sold the house, we have sold everything, we've bought the new van, we've got the e-bikes, we've got a tinny on the roof, and we are doing our lap for a year. We are. And we're leaving from Melbourne and we're going to go clockwise and let's pretty much get into it. We're off to Nelson. Um, Nelson is in just just in the Victoria side of the border. The border. That's it. Just before you've got to offload all your fruit, uh, fruit and veg at the border crossing. So we're going to go to Nelson for a night. Then we're going to hook up the South Australia coast to Kingston, which is the capital of crayfish within Australia. So we will hopefully hook up with a few crays. From the local fish co-op. From the, probably from the <laughs> shop, because I'm pretty crap at catching and fishing and doing anything really. So let's see how we go. Let's get this show on the road. Well, we're let's actually we're already on the road, but we can get it further down the road. Just we'll drive. Just, just okay, drive. We'll go. Just All go. Right. <laughs> Come along. Bye. Check it out. Got a single spinning window. Here we are, Nelson, first night, and we're in the Riverview Caravan Park, which is just behind us, which is actually the closest park to the water, but it's a little bit tight. And I have to admit that owner of the park actually backed my van in, which is a bit embarrassing. But um, yeah, very, very tight. Mm -hmm. But the waterfront doesn't disappoint though. Look, have a check this out. Okay, everyone, we are finished with Victoria. So that is Victoria behind us. And you might be asking why we didn't spend too much time there. Well, I've lived, lived there all my life, so I've pretty much done it to death. So now we are entering South Australia and we're gonna keep on going. It's a bit of a short day today, only two and a half hours up to Kingston SE. Not sure why they call it SE, but that's the name of the town. So entering South Australia, no COVID border restrictions here and uh, Victoria see you later much later quarantine bin what a shame got to do it
What is it? It's Piccaninny Ponds. Um, so this is somewhere I've actually always wanted to dive, but there's um, you've got to be members of Dave, uh, Cave Divers Association of Australia, at, rated at a sinkhole category. So know, cause people it's, all die. A, it's all a bit hard, really. So that's um, what it looks like. So let's go check it out. According to the pictures. Yep. It's only about 5k into South Australia as soon as you cross the border. You just turn left into, you can never say it, Piccaninny Ponds. Piccaninny Ponds. Let's go for the short walk. Check it out. <laughs> Floats. That's a wobbly. Oh, it's not um. We've been here before and it's super clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. It's just there's no sun, so. Yeah, it's a bit um. It makes it really dark. You can't really see. I'm sure when it's beautiful and sunny, it'd be nice. But at the moment, it's spectacular. Yeah, it's skanky. A little bit smelly. I can see the bottom. I can see the bottom here, and I can see the fish, but. All right, should we put the camera underwater? Yeah, give it a crack. All right, let's see how what happens. Flip the video. It's a big lobster. <laughs> if you come to Kingston, it's traditional. You have to come and check out the big lobster. I think they name him Larry. But, um, there's always a row of cars, always just waiting to come and take their photos. I came here years ago and he was covered in scaffolding and he was a mess, so they cleaned him up. So good on him, good on you, Kingston. It was Beach Shack, nice. All in the campgrounds. This is going to be epic. Wow, what do you think? Pretty exciting. <laughs> We're at uh, Cape Jaffa, and this is where you come to get crayfish up to three and a half kilos each. They are massive. And as of today, $85 a kilo cooked. Um, so you order them the day before, and then come pick them up when you want them. Absolutely magnificent. Cape Jaffa, best place to be Kingston apparently. Uh, beautiful process. <laughs> Windy, here we are at Cape Jaffa. It's going to be the best crayfish that we're here to pick up our crays today. So we'll, uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Pretty excited. Oh, look. Oh, the lobbies. Oh, I'll up in a minute. Pretty excited. 3.3 kilos each. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, okay all, here we are at Kingston SE at Wills Beach, um, or Wills Beach Shack, uh, which is just over the dunes behind us. You actually drive down on the beach here and just check this out. I'm going to apologise for the wind because I did smash my GoPro the other day. So um, I'm doing all this on my iPhone. Check it out. Turned it on for us. Let's have a look at that. And 
the water. Oh, it is so warm. Look at that. Epic stuff. Love it here. Thank you, South Australia. Enjoying every bit of it. Hey guys, here we are at Kingston, just off Will's Beach Shack, and South Australia is turning it on for us today. The water temperature is mint, and it is crystal clear, and it's probably about 28 degrees, maybe, maybe 30, um, but we are loving it. So if you want to come to Kingston, this is what it can look like. On a good day. On a good day. Yes, on a bad day, it looks like shit. On a good day, it looks bloody awesome, man. I'm sorry about the wind noise. So, anyway, we'll, um, we'll enjoy the water. See you guys. And a big storm's rolling in, so I'm not going to do the awning because I'm paranoid about my awning tearing off. And there's some kids getting washed away in a boat, which is not my concern. But they're alright. Uh, it'd, nice. it'd be nice when the sun comes out. Well, we're still at the Nindy, and I'd like to say that it's all lovely and summer and hot, but it's raining, and it's still raining. And it's been raining pretty much all bloody day. So we're going to miss out on this place a bit because we've got to move on in the morning. But, um, yep, it's just, just a day for bunkering down and doing some little bit of admin work. But yeah, it's just raining constantly, but still good. Yeah, okay, absolute typical. Very first morning, got to wake up early because we've got to get out of here today. And... It is like glass out there. A bit overcast, but I think it's going to clear up. It's going to be a bloody ripper day. And we've missed it. Now, next time, off we go to see the next place. get up early today, a bit excited, we're going to Rapid Bay which is the first actual place we wanted to go to that was on our must see list so we've had to get up early, I 
o'clock, seven o'clock, or sort of early. And because when you get there, we just check in at eleven. It's uh, first in, best dressed for sight. So we want to make sure we get there dead on eleven. So we're up, we're leaving Meningi, and um, it's going to be awesome. We're going to get the boat off, aren't we? Yes, we are. Woohoo! Awesome. Can't wait. Let's go. Stop at a lookout just south of Normanville, uh, just before we reach Rapid Bay. And look at that, quite spectacular. It's still a little bit cloudy, but I think, I think it's clear enough. I think we're going to be able to get the boat off the roof. So apparently, they've sunk a battleship just out here as a man made reef. So, just check it out. We're only about 10 minutes from Rapid Bay now. The weather's beautiful, like it's warm. Everything a rapid bay, Liz? Absolutely everything I was hoping for. Um, yeah, we're on the Floriad Peninsula in South Australia. We're staying at the Rapid Bay Campground, and this is just oh my god, we're staying here for at least a week. We might even extend. Well, we're going to go like four or five days. Now it's at least a week since we got here, and maybe a week and a half. Oh, look at the water! It's, it's pretty, just, yeah, bloody beautiful. Fishing off the jetty, I think it's just got everything that we were looking for and hoping for, so yeah, bring it on. Oh, could go and load the boat, it's pretty special. First time, yeah. <laughs> let's awesome. do it. Look at the water, it's just awesome. All right. it is absolutely Have a look how clear it is. Have a look how bloody clear it is. It is just, it's just crystal. It's a couple of feet deep, and you can count the pebbles on the ground. Our caravan. It's just over there on the beach. Oh, good. So, we've been camping at Rapid Bay now for probably about five days and we're starting to run a little bit low on water. So, what we have, we have a Flexi Make water bladder. This one's 150 litres, but there's tons of different sizes. You can get them all custom made. Some go across the footwell in the back seat of your car. Um, this just seems to be the right size for what we need. Um, and in the local town, there's usually somewhere where you can get fresh water. So the CF Country Fire Service here, Yanka, Yankalilla, Yankalilla um, have town water on tap that you can tap into. So we're going to fill this bladder up, take it back to the van, and then I'll show you how I pump it into the van. So we can just grab an extra 150 litres in the van. So it's just standard hose connection, we'll connect her up. So we filled up the tank, come back to camp, and I have bought a, a, a Zito 12 volt pump from Bunnings, about 95 bucks, pretty cheap. 
But you just got to watch the, uh, if you're going to buy a new pump, just watch the litres per minute, because some of them are really slow. So I'm not sure, I think this is about 10 to 15 litres per minute. Um, Seem to work pretty good. Put your plugger on. Plug our caravan hose in here. Run it straight into the tanks. Now is pumping that 150 litres back into the tank. Oh, look at that. And that is how we stay off grid longer by keeping up with the tanks up. Whenever you need more water. Too easy. Rapid Bay. You know it's pretty good within the first probably 15 minutes of being here we decided to change from four days to 12 days. It's that good. Oh it's just the water has just gone dead smooth now so it's time to get the trailer off, get the boat off the roof and get all set up so tomorrow we can um, get it in the water see what we can find. Too good. Is Gaz putting the trailer together so we can get out the boat trailer so we can jump out? About 20 minutes, what, 25? And it's been about 25 minutes so far. But it's the first attempt, so I reckon next time we'll probably have it done. About 24. <laughs> about 24, yeah. I want to get out there and enjoy that tomorrow, so. Yeah. How's it going, babe? Yeah, good. Nearly there. I'm, I'm just one last yeah. piece, and then my boat guard's going. Yeah, it's starting to look, starting to look like a boat trailer. How's your beer? Beer's empty. Oh, I don't know. Let's go do this first. Okay. How long did that take? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Ta da! Boat trailer. Finally got the boat on the water. Pretty bloody happy. It's been a long time coming. We've had it over a year and it's never been in the water. So. Thanks to COVID. It's not sinking. It's not sinking. Good. Yeah, thanks. It's no fish, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to cruise around for a few hours. Watch the depth on the depth sounder and see what we find out. Explore this beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. It's a bit hot though. Getting a bit warm. Might be beer o'clock. <laughs> what are you thinking, babe? Good? Uh, great place to be. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. It's bloody nice, isn't it? Look at that weather. It is just beautiful. Just got to catch a couple of fish and it will be. Perfect. Yeah. We need a couple of these beaches and check them out today. Have a look at the beach, check that out. It's just absolutely beautiful. Make sure we can see it with the camera.
Well, that's a wrap for episode one. If you enjoyed um, what you saw, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications so in a few weeks' time, when our next episode comes out, uh, you won't miss a thing. Um, we are heading up to Kangaroo Island, across to Adelaide, and then to Point Turton. So it should be another ripper episode. So thank you very much for watching, um, and I will leave you with a bit more footage of Rapid Bay, South Australia, which is absolute beautiful place so hope everyone's well and uh, we'll see you next time bye